What's up, guys? This is Motor Daffodil 64 bringing you my first ever Sims 4 build video. I'm gonna give you guys a heads up right up front. I am not the best builder when it comes to Sims 4. I know there's a ton of people out there on the gallery and on YouTube who can just create absolute masterpieces using build mode in The Sims 4. I am not one of those people. I'm someone who has a lot more fun with buy mode as opposed to build mode. I kind of like designing rooms a little better. Again, I'm not. I'm also not the best at designing rooms, but I, I have a lot more fun with it than I do with trying to build a house because everything I build just doesn't look... It doesn't look like something you would actually live in in the real world. It, it just looks like a big old square, rectangular, whatever mess. Um, so I'm actually attempting a build challenge today. And one of the reasons I really like this challenge is as opposed to building an entire house, you only have to design a room, which is perfect for my skill level when it comes to build mode. This challenge is called the one room, one week, one theme challenge. So every week a uh, theme gets picked and it's posted on the Sims forums and then you have to design a room that matches that theme. This is I believe the 148th week of this challenge and the theme for this week was a small dining room for Valentine's Day. The uh, actual poster of this challenge who is named uh, Wildflower1971 on the forums, uh, she, get, she gave a little background to go along with this theme. I don't know if it's something you strictly have to stick to when you make the room or not. I kind of, I, it might have just been for her particular uh, room that she posted, but it was actually hearing the background that kind of inspired me uh, with my idea for this challenge. So her thing is there's a recently married couple who's living in a one bedroom home. They're saving up money for a bigger house when they eventually have kids. They do have a separate dining room as part of their house, but it's very small and it only has space for a table for two simps. You're setting up the room um, with regards to having a special Valentine's Day dinner together. So with this idea in mind of a new couple living in a small house, I played around with a, an idea for this room that it's a little different than a lot of the things that were posted for this challenge. A lot of them were just like your typical, very well decorated dining room, lots of red and pink and white, lots of roses and hearts all over the place. I went in a slightly different direction. I kind of went for what would be my ideal romantic surprise Valentine's Day dinner setup. And that's when I came up with this room. Again, going along with the idea of they've just moved into this very small home. In my head, they haven't really unpacked everything yet. So that's why this room is going to be very sparsely furnished, but it's still going to be very nicely decorated. My idea of a romantic Valentine's dinner is very low key. I'm a very, I'm very easy to please when it comes to romantic gestures. I'm also a very cheap date. So my idea that goes along with this room is this nice, comfortable, cozy setting, like sitting in front of the TV, eating pizza, and either watching a movie or playing video games with your significant other. And that's what I decided to create a room built for just that. And of course, uh, with the decor I used, it all kind of hints how they haven't, they either don't have a lot of furniture or they at least haven't unpacked a lot yet, which is why the TV is sitting on two suitcases and why there's like this wooden box that's holding the handles in the, in the corner there. And so not a lot of actual furniture as of yet. Like the big table is there. I used a coffee table instead of an end table to kind of help with that cozy feeling and I thought something a bit lower to the ground would make things cozy as well and instead of actual chairs I decided to use the stacks of pillows that came with the toddler stuff pack. I did also include that cushion from the movie night stuff pack. Just I like the different colors and patterns in that chair and it it fit my overall theme so I kept it in. One way I wanted to achieve this cozy atmosphere of this room was have the entire room basically lit by candles and not your traditional candles on the wall, the kind of things that came with the vampire pack, but sort of mismatched and that, yeah, they definitely don't match each other. Like there's, there's different types of candles that came from a bunch of different types of game packs and stuff packs in the Sims 4. There isn't really any sort of overall theme with regard to the furniture, at least nothing is from one specific pack more than the others. I know I have the overhead lights in this build now, but I eventually did take them down. I just kind of started with them to have the room lit enough that I could see what it was I was decorating. And along with that kind of lighting style I wanted to go for, that's why I added the fairy lights. My, I'm, I'm obsessed. I love fairy lights and I figured it would fit perfectly for the kind of room I was trying to build. Along with this cozy theme and again, the idea of very small home, 
they haven't finished unpacking all of their things yet. What I decided to go for, my ideal, it, let's say my boyfriend was going to surprise me with some sort of Valentine's Day or just a randomly romantic dinner. The ideal image I have for something like this would be if I came home and there was a blanket fort set up in the basement. I am I, I'm very obsessed with the idea of blanket forts. I want to build one at my boyfriend's place so badly. I, I can't even tell you how much I've been trying to vie for a blanket fort for years now, even just for a day for fun. So that's sort of what I attempted with this room. Obviously I started with the minimal furniture and the lighting, which is all candlelight, which is, a, you gotta be pretty careful when it comes to candlelight in this build because you got blankets all over the place and the room is very flammable. So I'm hoping this couple that are enjoying their dinner are gonna be keeping a close eye on all of the candles that are lit. To go along with this theme of a brand new house, I also didn't really add much in the in regards to wall decoration because I figure if they're still unpacking things and they don't even really have furniture yet, they're not at a point where they're gonna be putting up framed pictures or paintings on their walls, which is why the walls are very bare. And um, also the wallpaper isn't all that fancy either. I just chose um, one of the basic wallpapers or painted walls from the City Living Pack. And it's one that's very aged and kind of looks like it's got maybe some potential mold on it there. I don't know 100% why I decided to add in the uh, colored room divider, but I feel like it kind of, it ends up tying together the whole theme and all the different colors that end up uh, coming into this room. And it, it was a nice kind of little accent to have in the corner there. I also liked how I, uh, the rugs I decided to use. I wanted something that sort of looked like blankets that were laid down on the floor to make the entire room more comfortable, but there isn't really too much like that. In the end, I decided to go for the mismatched uh, rugs that came with the laundry day stuff pack. I was a little torn with using the ones from the toddler stuff pack, but the, it was just the colors were a little too childish and the ones that came with laundry day were actually, a, they looked a lot more comfortable than I assumed they were going to. So they might not exactly look like, you know, blankets that were arranged, but they still look very cozy and they're nice and colorful without being too bright and obnoxious. And though it took me a while to perfect it, I like the idea of this little um, kind of food area I put in the corner uh, in front of the room divider. I figured, again, since I'm going along with the idea of makeshift furniture, I found this accent table from the pets. Uh, expansion pack that looks very much like a sawhorse and I figured I would just use that and they and they end up setting some things down there like condiments and there's the paper plates and napkins I figured that would be something that uh, one of the partners who's setting up this room would want to would have picked up for their Valentine's Day dinner just like you know red solo cups and some white napkins and it's red and white for Valentine's Day and there you go and that extra candle on the table just helps light it up perfectly so I figure even if they got their pizza or maybe they even get takeout burgers or something, they have a little food station, like a little condiment station, so they're good to go and don't have to run to the kitchen and back to if they forget something food-wise. I, I, when I first kind of got to this point in the room, I thought about just leaving it, but I'm like, no, there's not enough going on here. And I still really liked the idea of making this somehow look like a blanket fort. There isn't a ton of options to do that. What I decided to end up doing was I used curtains I wanted to have them a bit more in the room as opposed to against the walls, but with the way build mode is set up, even with the move objects on sheet, um, it didn't give me a bunch of leeway to move the curtains kind of in the middle of the room and have them as if they're kind of strung from one wall to the next, if that makes any sense. So I decided to just mainly, mainly I had them against the wall. There is this bit here by the door where you kind of see the entrance to the blanket fort itself. It's not just the room has blankets on all the walls. It actually kind of gives you a bit of a sense of this is where the opening is for the blanket fort. I was pretty happy using the curtains. I, I tried to incorporate the ones from the movie night pack as much as I could because I just, I love the patterns. I love the, you know, the colors. I ended up using them on the one big window that I did put in this room, but I wanted to use them more. And that's why I'm trying to figure out a way to incorporate them is to kind of make an entrance to the blanket fort. But I, I just struggled with it for so long, I eventually had to give up. I did try, I did use the curtains uh, every, like in bits and pieces, places where I could manage to fit them in. But mainly I used the curtains from the uh, City Living Pack against all of the walls. And I love the different patterns and colors they come in because I was really able to get a good array of color in this room. And even though it's totally mismatched and weird, it still kind of works. It still manages to go together. And I know the blankets on the walls, they unfortunately end up hiding some of the fairy lights, but you still see them kind of poking through and it still fits that overall cozy, 
romantic theme that I was going for. So for fact that when you uh, take a look at this room on the gallery, which the link will be in the description by the way, it's gonna look pretty weird because you're gonna see all these different like curtain rods that are at like a higher level than the actual walls of the room. So out on the outside, it's gonna look very weird. I didn't get a chance to actually take any uh, pictures with my Sims sitting there eating and watching TV. I really wish I had had the time, but I wanted to try and get this video up today as opposed to leaving it until tomorrow. So I didn't get a chance to take pictures with the Sims, but overall I'm very happy with how this room turned out. I think it looks fantastic. I love how I was able to give like kind of square off the blanket fort with the rods in the middle to kind of give it an entrance and then the rest of the room has all of the different curtains that look like blankets and it's just I love the colors. I love the overall theme and mood that I managed to create and I'm very happy with the end result. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or just the build, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel potentially to see more. I don't know if I'm going to be attempting this challenge again in the future. I had a lot of fun with it. I think it will depend on the different themes for each week. Like if there's a theme where I have absolutely no ideas on what I can make, then maybe I'll either do something different or maybe I'll look at a previous theme and play with that just for fun. Again, the link to this room uh, in the gallery is in the description below if you want to take a look. I hope you guys enjoyed this build and this was so much fun to make. I'm hoping I do get to do another uh, build like this again. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!